everyone i'm andy here thanks so much for joining me so do you struggle with organizing your craft room do you <laughs> well i'm here to help with some really quick and easy storage ideas many you may have already seen but you know maybe you need a bit of a push to use some of them so here are some of my ideas so these are stamps um that i've gotten from you know, overseas where you're not meant to buy out. And <laughs> they don't come in any special packaging. They just come like this. So what am I going to do with them? Well, one way that I store these kind of stamps is I try my best to keep them on the plastic. It stops the dust getting on the back. If the sticky comes off, you can just wash them or use um, stamp uh, cleaner on them. And it, the sticky should come back. But I get this is one, just one idea. So this is one and this is a purchase, but it's a very, very cheap purchase. And these are the small, I think, are they A3 size? Or if no, they're A5. So they're like half of an A4. I'm really bad at sizes. And you get like five for a pound. So it's not a lot of money. You've got to pick your battles when it comes to buying. Some of the other ideas are things that you may well ha already have in your house. This one is a purchase, but it's a budget-friendly purchase. And these are good because they do slip. These do slip inside. Obviously, they wipe clean. They are... They've got the little snappy there, look. Okay. And you can still kind of see through them as well. And I stack these... Uh, one behind the other or that I actually do them that way so I can sift through them in my you know the Ikea carts I've got one of those I can't think what they're called is it Rask I want to say Raskog but I might be making that up and so I, I'll put them in a row like so and um, that is quite a cheap and cheerful way of storing those like I say wipe clean you can see through and you can flick through and see what you've got keeps the dust off them which is quite important with stamps because craft rooms do create a lot of dust so let's have a look at another idea who has these cds who even most people don't even use cds anymore they use spotify or apple play or alexa or whatever so you know we're buying less and less and maybe you've got a massive hoard of old ones this is pop party 15 it's an old one i used to play in the car to my uh, who now teen um never we're never going to listen to it again so you know but rather than just send it straight to landfill i can re recycle part of it now this one comes fully out like this some of them have got this plastic molding directly on the cover this was a double one so all i need to do is just remove that bit and i've got myself a clear case so again with the smaller stamp sets that will just fit in there lovely okay i could it do a little card insert and stamp each one of those on that so that I can see easily what it is and I could even put a sticker on the side. But I'm happy with it clear like that. I can see exactly what it is and I can have a few and as I say, again, in a little box or I've, I've got like a little nook and I can just slide them on the little shelf. They take up minimal space and again, it's keeping the dust off them and it's an easy way to, to sort them. And you're recycling something that otherwise is either cluttering your house, doing nothing, or going to landfill. So there's another idea. So another idea with these is, and this is a good idea, if you've got some smaller dies maybe, okay, if you get some magnetic sheet, I mean some of them come with magnetic sheeting with the packaging. Now I try and keep mine in the original packaging, but they're all different sizes. It's hard to store when things are in different size packaging okay so if you um the advantage of using these is they're all going to be the same size so they're all going to sit neatly in wherever you put them in a box or on a shelf they're all going to be the same size so that will just slip in there like so and that that's a uh, storage idea sorted i could uh, put double-sided tape on the back of there if i want so that it doesn't move about and again if i wanted to i could put a card on there with a cut out of each one but it's clear why why add to my work work smarter not harder it's fine as it is i can sift through it's clear and i can see so that's another idea let's do another cheap and cheerful cd um envelopes now a lot of uh, journalers use these to make uh, things for the journals because of the lovely clear window and you can also get these smaller ones which are a bit more sturdy plastic these are perfect all of the little dies that you get from 
them places that should not be mentioned. They just come in a little plastic packet like this. Okay, they're going to get lost. You're going to struggle. Um, so you can put them in one of these. Okay, and it's got a little flap that you can fold in. Mine's actually stuck down because I've used it for something else. Okay, and again, they're all the same size. So because they're all the same size, they're going to sit neatly in a box. You can make a box yourself out of packaging um, or buy a little basket. And you can sift through them and they're all the same size and they're all neat and tidy. These are also perfect for these little cheap dies so you don't lose all of the bits. Because again, they've got a little flap so you can put them in, you can see immediately what's in it and again they're all the same size and you can sift through at ease and it's a, an easy way of storing them fairly flat or obviously you can have them like that but obviously you'd have them stood up so you can see you could have, add little tabs you could write on what they are um, but you can flick through like a little mini catalogue and see straight away what they are so it's no problem so there's another idea shall we do another i think we will Another idea, who doesn't have loads of old DVDs? Collecting dust, or if you don't genuinely don't have them, you can normally pick them up in charity shops for pennies these days because everybody watches everything on Netflix. So again, all you need to do is you can just remove that bit. You could even turn it over and reuse it. And some of them, this part is removable. I've got some here that i've not got that section in you can buy these i got these from stamping up you can get them on amazon without the molding in okay these have got the molding in but it's no bigger again i can store one of my el cheapo stamps that i've got from abroad that's come with no box no packaging and it will still go in there this one's even got little clips look so i can even hold it tight and even though that molding's there still plenty of room for it to close so you know check out your old dvd cases you can hold all sorts in them i've even got um enamel dots and whatever have your sticky things in in one and then they will go nicely and again like i say because they're all the same size they're going to fit nicely on the shelf and it's going to look tidy and organized okay um and you can have them that way or that way obviously all right so while i'm here i'll mention the next one which is vhs cases so your old um if you've still got your old tapes vhs tapes you don't know what to do with them well you know you can donate them but the boxes are really useful and in these obviously you can put all sorts card stock pre-cut card layers stickers anything I put my loose stamps, these are ones from magazines where they won't stick on the back of things anymore. Okay, and again, you've got kind of a uniformity of size, haven't you? Because they're the same size as the DVD cases. All right, so then when they're on a shelf, it's all going to look neat. And all you've got to do is print yourself a label. These were done on a thermal printer, or you can just handwrite them or do them on your PC so it's nice and tidy and it just gives you if you've got a tidy room and you can see things at a glance where they are put them you know stamps in one section dies in another maybe if you want to fill one with stickers stickers in another section then you can find them easier you're not rooting through drawers you're not rooting through this that and the other they're there at a glance have i got some more ideas i've got a couple more let's keep going stencils <laughs> i'm getting quite a large collection of stencils now these come in quite nice packaging okay but over time that you know that's a bit awkward um you, some people put them on rings and just hang them which is a lovely idea but i'm just a little bit too too neat for that i like things to slide on shelves so that they're nice and tidy i've got clean lines and i've not got boxes with things all different sizes peeking out so this is what i do with my stencils it's not a new idea it's nothing groundbreaking i save mine in a file folder so i've labeled the side and inside i've just got the cheap plastic subject dividers and what i do is i utilize scrapbooking paper that i'm not going to use anymore okay and i cut it to size and that makes that pocket sturdier so it's not flopping all over and the other thing it does is it means i can store one on one side one on the other and i can see 
I don't know if you'll be able to see that because of the light. But I've got another one there. So, you you know, but by keeping them separate, you can flick through and you can see quickly what you have or haven't got. And it's much easier because if you store them in boxes without the packaging, they do stick together. You know, the little pokey bits and they can stick together and get bent and get misshaped. And so putting them in something like this is really really useful it doesn't have to be a great big binder like this it could be just a small one if you've got a smaller collection and again it'll slide on a shelf and uh, you can store anything like this you could even store your stamps like this if you so desired uh, this is the, the most easiest and basic way of storing anything cardstock paper stencils stamps anything you can store in folders like so have i got any more i think i might have let's say uh, do this one so washi tape if you've got heaps and heaps and heaps of washi tape and you don't have a suitable storage solution get some acetate or something that's non-stick and i mean i'm 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 all right with mine in circles because mine are in little tubes but this is just an idea for those that maybe need a better solution it's also a really good way to gift it you know if you're doing a crafty swap or you're gifting it if you wrap your washi tape around there it's going to store flat. It's going to store flat, whereas um, circular rolls could be, you know, they could be bulky. So you could just store them flat like so, put whatever you want on there. And then again, you can use these plastic wallets, store them in there, you'd get two in. And you're going to save yourself a lot more room. Okay, but that's only if you've got heaps and heaps and heaps of washi tape and it's out of control. <laughs> Right, I've got one more for you and then we're done. So stay tuned. Journaling ephemera. We spend too much time organising this. This is how I generally organise mine. <laughs> but I have an idea to share with you, um, which I do use from time to time. Um, more specifically, when I'm working with a kit, I will use this next system. And then when I've done, whatever's left goes in this. Okay, and then it gets put away. All right, so what I do use is, and excuse the fancy cover, this is pocket scrapbooking. Ooh, I'm banging the camera. Pocket scrapbooking. Okay, I've had this for years. Now, you can, you can purchase these online and you can get them in 12 by 12. You can also get them in A5 size. And they, they're ring bound, so you can put them in the little folders and they've got the pockets. And these are the old fashioned. Well, I think they're old fashioned now. Not many people do this anymore. Scrapbooking pockets, brilliant. So have a look through your stash. If you've been crafting for years, you may well already have some of these uh, scrapbooking pages in your collection perfect for things like this or putting in for example this is i mean these are ephemera but this is a, a journaling card or atc style card that i've already made so they'd be really good for storing things that you've made okay and then you can flick through rather than just having piles of things everywhere now you can make this kind of thing yourself okay and here's my handy tip clear files so these i use these for all sorts um, so these little wallets are the ones that are sealed down one side and on the bottom, okay? So all you'd need to do is um, punch your holes in the side to put them in a file, okay? And then you, if you don't mind using your sewing machine, I've sewn these, it doesn't do them any harm. You can sew segments for pockets, okay? And then where you've sewn, go in with a sharp craft knife and just slice open the top then that gives you access to the pockets that you've sewn and that's a really really cheap and easy idea these are like i think i paid like a pound so that's a cheaper way that's a bit more bougie but if you've already got them in your collection go and have a look if you will if you're an old school crafter i'm quite sure you've got some go and have a look i do know stamping up used to sell them i don't know if they still do uh are they all right they're not bad price wise to be fair but you can make them yourself okay and these are nice and sturdy far easier than messing about with bits of vellum and i've seen some other tutorials there's lots of ways you can do this yourself but i think this is the easiest way okay just get these and sew them 
so there you go those are some handy storage ideas i'm not going to shut that because it's going to bang the camera i think you uh, more than likely will come up with some of your own but what i like about most of these ideas is the idea of having things that are stored in the same sizes because then it's easier and it looks neater than having all sorts of different things so i hope those hints and tips helped I hope you can get something from it and uh, maybe if you've got some other ideas you can leave it in the comments below thanks for watching take care and i'll see you soon bye